Do you know there's a platform where projects are being given to you from real companies with real problems? And this project is organized so that you can work on them. And when you're done working on them, you have actually gained world experience. Did you just use data analysis or maybe you are data analyst, right? And they are looking for a way. You've not yet gotten your first job and then you'll be doing personal projects there and here. And then you're looking for a way to gain a real world experience. Like you want to work on a real life project. You're looking for a way to apply your knowledge as a data analyst in the real world, right? As a real job. I know we can get data sets in cargo and so on to do personal projects. But those projects are just based on what you think. But do you know there's a platform where um, projects are being given to you from real companies with real problems? And this project is organized so that you can work on them. And when you're done working on them, you have actually gained world experience. And this platform, they don't just give you this project. They also make videos on those projects that you can watch and follow along. And trust me, there's a lot to learn when watching and following along. So this is just not, it's not like cargo, it's not an internship, right? It's just a platform where projects, real world projects are available for you. So just as getting an internship, you can gain experience from getting an internship. You can also gain experience with this project. So if you're interested in this, then stay tuned to the end. I'm going to walk you through on how you can apply and register to start doing your project. Okay, let's begin, guys. Okay, guys. So you come to Google and type www. dot Sorry, amdare. dot io. Then click on enter. It will take you to the website. So here is the amdare website. So here is Amdari website, then you can click here to register. But because I'm already registered into the platform, so I'll just click here and go to my profile. So this is my profile here, guys, and this is my dashboard, my project, my portfolio. Another thing is that you can actually create a portfolio website in this platform. So when you are done doing your project, you can document them in this platform and share the link as you want portfolio website that's another good thing about this platform so guys so this is my dashboard so another thing about this platform is that it's actually a paid platform but for the project you are allowed to have like six or three three to six free projects that you can do and this project is not just for data analytics it's also for data science and data engineer any data field can use this platform so data science data engineer data whatever they can use this platform right so um you only have six free projects and after you exhaust those six free projects you have to pay for it you have to pay for the platform so it just i think just ten dollars a month and also they don't just you don't just um not just for projects you can also apply for internship in this platform. You can also apply for internship, right? You can also apply for internship in this platform. But you have to pay to apply for the internship. So you pay, you'll be given an internship. And this platform is made by all. This platform was built by 10 Analytics, the founder of 10 Analytics. I don't know if you guys know of 10 Analytics. So the founder of 10 Analytics is the one that made this platform available so now you can when you scroll down when you scroll down you see the different data fields so if you want data analytics um project you click on this and these are the different projects you can scroll through and select any one that you want please make sure you read through it before starting the project because when you start it has counted as your first project and that minus one from six, that's have only five free projects. So you can just read through it to know the two that they use. 
you are sure that is the tool you want to use. If you want to learn, if you want to project in Excel, you have to read through to be sure that it's an Excel project. You can just read through it to see here. You can read through here to know the kind of um, tool they are going to use. So also you check the level. So this, this is intermediate level. So this project is intermediate level. So if they have intermediate level, they have beginner, they have advanced. So if you know you are just beginning, you will look out for only beginning. Like now, this is beginner. Right? Telecom growth strategy, unlocking customer lifetime value to smart segmentation. So that is for beginner. So you can reach in it that is beginner, that is intermediate, that is um, um what was it called again? Advanced. Right? So you can select any of your choice, right? For so that the project on Excel, project on Power BI, project on Python, project on SQL. And when you're working on a project on your you have to be you have to be um careful because they have pros pros progress SQL, they have my SQL and they have SQL server. So you have to be sure that the SQL you, you know is the tool that they use, is the particular SQL that they use. So you can just find all that out by looking at the introduction, looking at the description of the project. So this is where you can you know, select your project here. So I already have um, some projects I've been working on. So this is free. This is, this is my free project. So I can click on view all to see all my projects. So So this is all my project here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see I have three, three six projects, different tools. Three, six projects with different tools. So if I click on this, so if this one is using Progress SQL, ETL partner for zip code. So this one is Wikipedia data scrapping. So this one is for data engineering. But I wanted to learn data scrapping. So that was why I applied for that project. So let's check this one out. So you click on start project. So when you click on start project, you are going to see project description. When you click on start project, you see your project description. So you click on here to see our project description. You click on project description. So this project description now, is going to tell you the overview or the problem statement of the uh, project. But before that, you will see the description of the project here. Yeah? And with that, you can also see the tool they use for the project. Then you see the business overview of problem, the rationale for the project, the aim of the project, data description, the project scope and the contributor. That's the first thing that is going to be the project that you have to watch and replicate. So let's go back. That's for the project description. So now here, here you are is where you, the video for the project is. So when you click on this one is for download materials and data sets. So when you click on this, you can download the material use. And also you can have the um, analysis, the course analysis solution. So you have the solution to this um, project. In this solution to this project, if you like Python, project to see all the code that was used, the whole step that was taken in this solution. But then just have to do the project yourself so you can learn one or two things. So then this is the installation video. So introduction and also to have to install Jupyter Lab. So in case you don't have it, you can put it through on how to install those tools. And then you can look on look at um, this is the project solution video. The project solution video. So this is the project intro. All these things are videos. You can just click on any of them and watch. So this is the project intro, business intro, and problem statement. Then this is solution rationale, the aim and description. Then this is the beginning of the project, the Python solution. So let's just click on this and watch. So the Python solution. So this is the beginning. Let's, let me fast forward this. 
So this is, I told you someone is going to be putting you to the video. So you are watching someone do the project, you are repl replicating what the person is doing and you are learning. One good thing about this project, this platform, is that you have a lot of things to learn. Because there are so many things to learn. No, no tech school, no tech class can teach you everything you need in your tech field at all. So this video, one of the good things about this platform is that you are learning something. I know that one time I did um, a project on Excel, I learned a lot of things, something that I've never seen before. And I learned it. So this is one of the important, this is one of the ways you can also learn. So you are learning, you are getting reward experience, and you are building a portfolio website. And when you add all these projects in your portfolio, right, you are going to see that your projects are quality projects. They are not just random projects you got from cargo. They are quality projects with businesses. Yeah, there are quality projects that were done for business or organization. I made a video on um, how to document your project on GitHub. I'll put the link over here so you can watch and learn how to document your project on GitHub. Right? When you are watching that video, if you check out my video, GitHub repository, you are going to see some of these projects there. And these projects are quality. This project is the kind of project that will help you learn your first job. Okay, so if you are here to get an internship, then you need to jump on this, but this will also give you a good work experience. So basically, you are just going to click on any of these, and then you're going to watch and follow and do your project. So this is the end, and then when you are done, you can submit your solution. So when you click on submit your solution, you are going to see this. So you are going to select the full reviews, the project title so that's if you want to if you want to use this platform as your portfolio website so if you want to document your project here and when you are asked to make make your portfolio website um link as well you can send in the link of your portfolio website from this platform that's if that's what you want to do then you can do it this way so then that's it guys so i can go back to my <coughs> i can go back to my dashboard and that is it that is it, that is it. So guys, I hope you learned a lot today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because I'm giving out premium content this year. You won't want to miss any of them. Watch out for my next video. You won't want to miss it. Click on the notification bell as you subscribe and wait for my next video. See you next time. Bye.